Welcome everyone, I'm King of Valence, and thanks for watching the Spore Speedrun Challenge. Today, we're destroying Earth and the Spore Galaxy to earn the O of the Humanity achievement in under 30 minutes. We'll be starting in Space Days, so our creature won't have any consequence traits or archetype abilities for this run. To destroy Earth and the Spore Galaxy, we will need the Planet Buster, and there are two ways to unlock it. Either through the Colonist 5 badge by placing 200 buildings, or from the Conqueror 5 badge by capturing 50 planets. We're going to earn the Colonist 5 badge for this run, which means we need to place a bunch of colonies and earn a lot of money for buildings. After the first tutorial mission at the start of Space Stage to scan the crashed ship and the destroyed cities, we will return home to get the Place a Colony mission. When we contact our Empire to receive the Colony mission briefing, we're going to perform a glitch to get additional colonies for free. When we get to the message that gives us the colony, we can get another colony for free by saving the game using Ctrl and S on the keyboard, quit back to the main menu without saving, then load back up the game. Back in the game, when we contact our Empire, we get another free colony. We can do this again, save with Ctrl and S, quit without saving to get back to the main menu, and load back up the game and receive another free colony. It is possible to get one free colony pack at a time all the way up to 99 colonies. However, we're going to start with just 6 free colonies for this run using this method. Once we have our 6 colonies, we're going to place a colony on a purple spice planet for the colony mission and since purple spice sells for the most money. I noticed in the star system with the destroyed cities that there was a purple spice planet, so we'll colonize this one first. The spice colors for each planet are influenced by the color of the star and the planet's orbiting tail color. A planet to have a purple spice in a red or yellow star is fairly rare, whereas blue stars are more common to have purple spice planets. I'll leave a link in the description to the spore wiki that has the percentage chance breakdown for each planet's spice color. After colonizing this planet, we can't produce spice yet, we need to terraform the planet to place buildings. We will use the Terraform a Planet mission to give us the terraforming tools and creatures to increase the planet's terra score. After completing the colony mission, now we need to complete the Contact an Alien mission and Sell Spice mission to an alien empire first. Then we'll be able to receive the Terraform a Planet mission. At a nearby empire, we can introduce ourselves, then return home to start the Sell the Spice mission, and head back to this empire to sell the spice. Once we return home, we have the option to choose the Terraform a Planet mission. Go through the mission briefing until they give us the tools, and just like the colony mission, when we receive the equipment, we can save with Ctrl and S on the keyboard, quit without saving, go back to the main menu, then load back up the game. And when we contact our empire, we will get another set of free terraforming tools. This can also be done up to 99, but we will stop at 6 tools of each. Time still counts for saving and quitting, so each duplication for our colony and the terraforming tools takes about 8 seconds. These initial free tools are nice to have at the start, but soon we'll have lots of money so we'll be able to buy the remaining colonies and additional terra tools faster if needed. Once we have enough terraforming tools, we can head back to the Purple Spice Planet and increase its terraform score to level 1. These Purple Spice Planets will start out with a terra score of 0 diagonally from the center, so we can use an atmosphere increase and an ice storm. And place 2 of each to help stabilize the planet a little faster, and once we get the terra score 1 range, we can place the plants and animals in order. The plants can just be dropped onto the surface, but the creatures need to be beamed down gently. Green Terra Score 1 allows for just 5 colony buildings, so we can place some factories and houses. Unlike Civilization Stage, Space Stage colonies do not protest or revolt, so they'll be fine being left with an unhappy city. The best configuration I could find for 5 buildings is 6 blue connections to start earning 72 spice per hour. While the purple spice is cooking, we're going to scout around for other viable planets of at least Terra Score 1 to place our remaining colonies. This will help raising the planet's Terra Scores up to 3 a little bit easier. For the Colonist 5 badge, we need 200 buildings. A city can hold 12 buildings, and each planet can sustain 3 cities, so we need to claim and colonize 6 different total planets. We are going to manually increase the Terra score of each of our 6 colonized planets to level 3. However, this requires a lot more plants and animals in our cargo. The terraforming mission from our home planet only provided us the means to stabilize one Terra score level, and our cargo is not large enough to hold any more plants and animals. Each Terra score requires 3 plants and 3 creatures to complete, so we need at least 18 slots in our cargo. To increase our cargo for that many slots, we need to buy the medium cargo hold, which will be unlocked by earning the Merchant 3 badge. This badge requires us to earn at least 4 million spore bucks through trading, which we will do through selling Purple Spice, which should be ready once we finish placing down our 6 colony we have on this planet. Here's an overview of our empire, 7 different systems claimed from 6 colonies along with our home planet. Back at our purple spice planet, in that time they produced 3 purple spice. We are going to perform a glitch to duplicate the spice. This must be done on our colony producing the same color spice we want to duplicate. First drop the spice onto the planet and contact the colony. Buy the spice we just dropped and say goodbye and then beam the spice back from the surface doubling our spice. We can do this again, drop the spice, buy it back, beam it up, doubling it again. 3 starting spice after 5 doublings brings us up to 96 spice. And this is how we're going to make millions of spore bucks to buy the remaining colony packs, buildings, and the planet buster. Now that we have the purple spice, we need someone to sell it to. Our empires and colonies will buy the spice, but there's a pretty large range of prices. Quickly checking the market values at our home planet, they only value purple spice at 1,000 spore bucks each. This is too low, so we can check a different colony. Colonizing different planets gives us more chances to find higher prices. 
This colony is buying purple spice for the maximum of 73,000 each. That'll be perfect. We're going to sell 81 of the 96 spice for almost 6 million spore bucks. We will keep 15 of the spice to do the duplication again. Return to the purple colony. We got 99 spice after three more doublings, and we can return to the same colony to get the rest of the money we need. The total bill for this run will be about 10 million spore bucks. If there wasn't a colony to buy the purple spice for high enough, we may have had to duplicate the spice a third time. But we got lucky spice prices, so we only needed to duplicate spice twice for this run. The amount of money earned easily unlocks the Merchant 3 badge. Now we can buy the medium cargo hold to obtain the rest of the plants and animals needed to complete each colony's terra score up to level 3. We can use our home planet to find the remaining plants and creatures since our home planet will always be a terra score of level 3. Going around abducting everything in sight until it looks like we have everything we need. Double checking everything before we leave, we picked up an extra set of two small, medium, and large plants, four herbivores, and two carnivores. That'll be everything we need to complete an entire planet's ecosystem. Returning to our purple spice planet once more, using another atmosphere generator and ice storm, we can start placing more plants and animals on the planet once there's room to sustain them. Dropping new plant species onto the surface, allowing us to add more herbivores and a carnivore, beaming the new creatures onto the surface, and that will stabilize the next Terra score level. There aren't too many of each creature in our cargo, so we can abduct them back into the ship. As long as they touch the ground, that will count as inhabiting the planet. We can buy two more colony packs from this colony, so we can fill this planet with all three cities. We want to place the second city once the planet is ready, since the colony pack is a fairly long cooldown, and we want that recharging as soon as possible. Now we can finish up the last Terra score and ecosystem. I completed an alternate route for this run that reached the center of the galaxy to receive the Staff of Life in order to complete the planet's ecosystems. However, while the Staff of Life would fix one planet's ecosystem quickly, it has a two minute cooldown. Manually obtaining and placing down each plant and animal individually was about the same, but this saved time not needing to reach the center of the galaxy and watch the cutscene. Finishing the last ecosystem for a green Terra score 3, and we can place the third colony pack on the planet. Now we can place buildings in our cities to start making some progress towards the Colonist 5 batch. We don't need any more spice production, so we're going to add all entertainments to the city since they are the cheapest buildings. And thankfully the Colonist badge doesn't care which buildings we're using. Each new city will get 11 entertainments. The town hall that comes with the city for free counts as a building, making it 12 buildings per city. Turrets don't count as buildings, so we won't add those. Finish placing the entertainments in all three cities for 36 buildings per planet. The next four planets were terraformed up to level 3 and their ecosystems fully completed. If our initial set of 6 terraforming tools we received wasn't enough, we had the ability to buy more terraforming tools if needed. These tools were unlocked through the Empire 2 badge by expanding to 7 different star systems. This is also why we chose to colonize different star systems for each of those first 6 colony packs. And once the ecosystems on each planet we colonized were completed, we had plenty of money to buy the rest of the colony packs and fill all the cities with entertainments. This sixth and final planet will hold the last two cities for the 17 total colony packs placed in this run. Since this last planet only needed two cities, we just had to bring the planet's terra score up to level 2, and this still allowed us to fill the 11 entertainments in each city. 17 full cities are enough to hold the 200 buildings to earn the Colonist 5 badge. We've unlocked the Planet Buster, which we can buy from our own colony for 5 million spore bucks. It is possible to buy the Planet Buster for cheaper from a warrior empire that follows the philosophy of force, but there weren't any of those nearby, so we'll just buy it from ourselves. We started really close to Earth, and it'll just take a few jumps to reach the Sol system. Earth is always in the same location, and I'll leave a link in the description that covers finding Earth in the Spore Galaxy in more detail. And there's the Sol system, super nearby, and we need an Interstellar Drive 1 to reach it. Enter the system, and we will first receive the Manifest Destiny achievement for finding Earth when we get onto the planet. Time will stop when we receive the O the Humanity achievement for destroying Earth. Launch the Planet Buster to destroy Earth in the Spore Galaxy. And there's the achievement, destroying Earth in 27 minutes and 22 seconds. Thank you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun routing and strategizing for this run, and I've really been enjoying completing these challenge suggestions. Let me know what else you'd like me to try in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I'm King of Valence, and I'll see you next time.